Okay, students. So, eto na. Uh, solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula. Eto na yung pang-apat at last uh, methods or ways ng pagsasolve ng quadratic equations. And for me, ito ang pinaka-madali sa apat. So, paano ba ito? Simulan na natin. Bwede na natin patagalin. So, sa quadratic formula, by, by the name itself, quadratic formula. So, we are going to use a certain formula. So, ano ba yung certain formula na gagamitin natin? Ito po yan. So, the solutions of any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, remember that is the standard format quadratic equations, can be determined using the quadratic formula. So, kailangan nyo po itong tandaan at kabisaguhin. So, it's x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a should not be equal to zero. Remember before, ang introduction natin sa quadratic equation, uh, there are three uh, real numbers sa quadratic equation. The, that's the A, the B, and the C. Sa tatlong yun, A lang ang hindi pwedeng mag-equal to zero. So same goes with this formula. Kasi bakit? Kapag ang A naging zero, technically, wala na tayong masasolve. Undefined na ang value. At the same time, hindi na rin siya quadratic equation. So, paano ba mag-solve ng quadratic formula? So, simple lang. Identify the A, B, and C, and then substitute it in the given formula. Ganun lang kasimple. And that's it. So, tapos na. Tapos na itong video na ito. Okay. So, ito nga yun. So, bibigyan ko kayo na example. Let's have some example here. So, find the solutions of each of the following quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So, example, x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Step number 1, let us identify the a, the b, and the c. So, paano ba yun? Ang a yung nasa quadratic term, kung naalala nyo pa. B, yung nasa linear term, and C is the constant. So, in my example here, ang A natin, of course, ay si 1, okay? Si B is si positive 8, si C is si 15. As simple as that. So, yun na. Pag nakuha nyo na ang A, B, and C, isa siya, bichot nyo lamang ito doon sa formula. So, ang formula natin, still, x equals negative B plus and minus, the square root of B squared minus 4AC, all over the 2A. So, let's try to substitute it one by one, okay? Ayan. So, A equals 1, B equals 8, C equals 15. So, isa-isa. So, naging negative 8 plus and minus, parenthesis, 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 15 all over 2 times 8. So, uh, tip lang ha. So, just be careful with the sign. Kasi sa formula ng quadratic equation, yung B sa labas is negative. So, pag sinapitute nyo ang value ni B, so since ito is 8, naging negative 8. So, be careful with the sign. So, Sa isa natin, simulan natin yung pinakaloob. 8 squared is 64. Negative 4 times 1 times 15, tatlong number yon So, it's gonna be negative 60. All over, 2 times 1, syempre, it's 2. Okay, tuloy natin. So, ayan. So, negative 8 plus and minus, square root of 64 over 60, all over 2. So, subtract lang natin yun nasa loob ng radical symbol. 64 minus 60 is, of course, it's 4. And sa baba, 2 pa din. Tsaka may negative 8 sa laba. So, anong next? Simplify natin. May value si square root of 4. Ang value niya is 2. So, that will become negative 8 plus and minus 2 all over 2. Tuloy ulit natin. Since plus and minus 2 yun, no? so paghiwalay natin ulit ng value. x equals negative 8 plus 2 over 2 for the positive side. And then for the negative side, it's x equals negative 8 minus 2 all over 2. Okay? So pinaghiwalay ko siya ng solution. So the values of x here, in my example, is x sub 1 is negative 3 and x sub 2 is negative 5. Next example, para mas malinawan tayo. So 3y squared equals 8y. So completing the square, it doesn't matter whether um, hindi natin matranspose ang c at hindi siya maging standard form. Okay lang yun. Sa quadratic formula, it is important uh, gawin natin standard format ang quadratic equations before we identify the a, b, and c. So sa case na to, ililipat muna natin si 8y. So, i-transpose natin si 8y sa kabilang side. Giging 3y squared minus 8y equals 0. So, that's it. Standard format na siya ngayon. So, ngayon, identify na natin si a, si b, at si c. Isa-isa. Ang a natin, syempre yung katabi ni y squared, that is 3. Ang katabi, ah, si b naman, ay yung katabi ng, ng y, syempre si negative 8. What about c? Meron ba, tayong, meron ba tayong constant term? Wala. So, the value of c here is only 0. That's it. So, ayun na. So, isubdicute na natin sa given formula ng quadratic formula. So, ilalagay ko na siya agad-agad. Ang, ang inatin is 3, B is negative 8, C is 0. So, substitute na natin. Oh, take a look. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, ang, sa formula natin, there is a negative 
and then the B variable, B. Now, in our given here, the B is negative 8. So, pag nilagay nyo at sinabstitute nyo ang value ni B, there's a negative, and then you put parenthesis to emphasize the negative B. So, kailangan may, ne may, may negative pa din. Hindi nyo pwedeng ilagay na 8 lang. Okay? So, kinakailangan, there's a negative, and then may parenthesis and then negative 8. What about on the other side? Plus and minus square root of negative 8 parenthesis squared negative 4 times 3 times 0 as all over 2 times 3. So simplify na natin lahat sa isa. Unay natin yung negative 8. Negative 8 squared is 64. That's 64. Now, ito naman. Negative 4 times 3 times 0. Siyempre, four, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Times 0 pa, edi 0 na siya. So technically, huwag yun nang ilagay pa kasi 0 na lang. So ang natira na lang sa loob ng radical symbol is only 64. So that's gonna be 8 plus and minus square root of 64 over 6. Next, tuloy natin. Uh, Siyempre, ang value ng square root of 64 is, syempre, is 8. So magiging 8 plus and minus 8 over 6. So eto na. At this point, pag na natin solution, isang positive 8 sa isang negative 8. So, mangyayari na dito ay, syempre, 8 plus 8, x is equals to 8 plus 8 over 6, equals to 16 over 6, syempre, equals to 8 over 3. Bakit 8 over 3? Bakit, bakit ang 16 at saka over 6 ay naging 8 over 3? Kinuha ko yung lowest term. Hindi pwedeng i-divide sa 16 sa 6. You cannot divide it. Meron siyang remainder. Ang gagawin natin, since this is a fraction, ilo lowest term na lang natin. Si 16 at saka si 6 ay divisible by 2. So, just divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, the simplest form is 8 over 3. On the right side, 8 minus 8 over 6. Siyempre, 8 minus 8 is 0 over 6. And 0 over 6, siyempre, nothing left with 0. So, that's it. So, ano na ang values ni x dito? So, x sub 1 is 8 over 3 and x sub 2 is 0. So, ganyan naman kasimple na mag-solve ng quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Basta tandaan nyo lamang yung quadratic formula. And that's it. Sige na, simple. Bye-bye.